Um, quick video. The Apple Dumpling Gang, the film. Um, I don't know. I've never, I'd never heard of this film until I sat down and watched it. Oh, it's been a few years ago now, probably. Um, with my in-laws and wife, and and I guess they they've probably watched it several times growing up. Um, but this this film, I'm going to talk through um, a scene in it, which is the mine cart ride scene, which I believe could be a reference to an ensuing event at the Hoover Dam, a collapse of a a um, a structure holding back water, holding back mankind, um, the containment system, the matrix crumbling. Okay, and it possibly is referenced in here and I'm going to talk through the synchronicities with um, Back to the Future 3 as well um, and there's some other stuff in the film but I didn't problem is I didn't sit down and watch the film the other day I just walked in and they had it on going and I just caught this scene and I'm like oh <laughs> replay that for me please um, I mean I've seen it ages ago but you just don't I mean when you're not looking for this stuff, you just don't see it, you know. And so, anyway, without further ado, let's get into the film. So, anyway, they're playing cards here. And this is just right before the minecart scene. And there is, he's, uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what they're actually playing here, whether they're playing some form of poker or what. But anyway, he's, he's dealing out cards. And one of the things he says as he's dealing out um, is, a, is um, I think he says a 4 with a 10 or a 10 with a 4, something like that. Um, but there's a 10-4 reference right at the start of this scene. So immediately I'm thinking, you know, back to the future with um, the 10-04 on the clock tower, okay? And then we move to this part of the scene. Um, let's see if we can catch them. We got the 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 guys that are up to no good in the background here. These are the kind of crooks of the film. And he puts his foot in a spittoon, okay? Which immediately I'm seeing this and I'm thinking, oh, and this bowler hat as well, like what Marty's wearing, in Back to the Future Three. Immediately I'm thinking. Of this scene in Back to the Future 3 where Marty does the moonwalk when he flips the spittoon up on Mad Dog. Okay, Mad Dog being the reverse of that is God Damn. So we have the Damn encoded with the with the character here as well. Um, because that's what's been damned off. Okay, God has been damned. Um, We've been damned away from God or damned off from God or whichever way you want to look at it. But this is what's going on. So we have this, and it's a, nice, it's a gold spittoon as well. Um, so we have the same colour, which is kind of interesting as well. Um, anyway, if after this scene, right, it cuts up to, um, if we get out of there. It cuts up to this part here where these guys, the kids, have gone up to the old mine and, well, I'm going to show you what happens next. This piece of um, track here, if I can find the right spot, and I'll show you this. I'm, I've seen this and I'm like, oh, Lord, this looks like, this looks like another scene in Back to the Future as well. Back to the Future 3, it looks like this scene here, actually, I've got a better picture of it here. This scene here, yeah, Show Nash, Show Nash Ravine, Clayton Ravine, Eastwood Ravine. <laughs> um, this, <laughs> this end of the track here, and I'm thinking, oh wow, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> end of the track. So anyway, continue on. That's pretty much it for the uh, Back to the Future um, references. But what we have is we have this issue now where they get in, they end up getting in this car, and this is Moon Ridge Mine. 
and I think it has a Moon Ridge Mine number two up here as well. Um, and they jump in there and knock the brake off, and they can't get the brake to come back on. Sounds familiar with old um, Indiana Jones. Um, and actually, in um, ah the I can't remember which one it is now, the one with Zoran in it, the Bond. Um, where Mayday has to, I'm pretty sure she has to hold the brake off <laughs> to get the uh, bomb out of the uh, out of the mine that they're in, that they're about to blow up, and they're about to do the same thing as what's what happens in um, Superman as well. The movie is the the fault line that's about to be ruptured from a very large bomb. So we're seeing some of the same sort of things in the same in in the same context of movies. I don't know how to explain it, but it, you know these we're seeing similar elements link into a similar plot as well. Um, and I mean, even in Indiana Jones, what comes shooting out of the mine shaft um, is foot's on fire and he's shouting for water. And what comes shooting down that big cauldron of water, the big water tower? That's what's um, spilled there. Okay, so we have the same thing going on there, and that that erupts into a canyon, a bit like the Grand Canyon with the rope bridge across it. So I mean, oi, 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 you know, I mean, very similar symbolism in all of these films. But anyway, the the Moon Ridge and Marty's just done the Moon Walk. Um, in Back to the Future, and so anyway, they end up getting this cart, and off it goes. And I mean, I just want to get through this now because, and they they're on the runaway cart, and like Indiana Jones, down the side of the mountain here, and heading for town, and so the first thing they go through is a fence. If I could even get on it. And we've got the Chinese people doing washing, and they go through a fence. Oh, we've missed that bit, but they go through the fence, through a, a puddle of water, through the washing, you know, like the Washington. Okay. They hit a couple of vats of cauldrons here, you know, big kettles of boiling water, which get knocked over as well and spilt. Another symbol of, you know, just the vessel holding the water being broken and the water spilling free. Okay, so they've already gone through a wall, a fence, gone through some water that was like a big puddle there. Now they've gone through the Washington. Now they're still going through the Washington with two big cauldrons of water getting spilled. Now they're going to knock over the water tower <laughs> and spill that thing as well. I don't think you could hit more water if you tried. Um, then we've got, then they go through a ca the caged up chickens. I know immediately I'm thinking like um, bird flu, but you know. Um, and of course there was the Chinese reference there as well. So we're coming on down through here. And, and I mean, I guess you could, also that's a, the caged animals being released there as well, if you like. Um, if we were the chickens, that would be the cage being open. Then we're going to go through the mirror. So there's unbelievable symbolism here with the, well, that is the the porthole right there, the, the portal to the, the fictional world and the physical world. And we're going to smash straight through this thing, the Vesica Pisces. Um, this is the the dam right here, this silver mirror. Okay, so smash through that. You just can't write this stuff. Then they're going to go into a theatre. And as they go into the theatre, I might have to play a little bit of this. Oh, no, look, it's come up pretty good. On, on the wall here, coming soon. Coming soon, right? Read this. I can just about make it out, and I think this is what it says. It says, Act 3, Noah... In the valley, or the veil, sorry. Noah in the veil. Um, and I think it says, or harmony. 
Um, direct from San Francisco. Okay, so we have another San Francisco link, <laughs> like we do in Back to the Future with the Golden Gate Bridge there. Coming soon, Act 3. Ah, uh, Back to the Future 3. And we've even got a reference to Noah in the veil. Unbelievable, we've got a 49 reference on this side. 49. 49 days, again. Um, just go back and look at the previous decode for what that means. Um, I can't read any of the rest of that. My definition isn't good enough. And you sure you you won't be able to read it on the video because the it's going to be even worse on my video. But um, they go in here and they crash into. Um, again, we've got the water in the the sort of um. It's not really the harbour. I don't know if it's the harbour or whatever the hell it is here. But this is the uh, the bay here or whatever, and we've got the mountains on each side, the valley here, and again. We've even got that same symbolism in the very end of where the cart comes to the comes to a stop. Okay. The only thing that could have made this better is if they had had like in um oh in the Matrix um Resurrections or what was the last one called? Um but anyway, that last matrix if they had had the the winged angels on each side like they did in that, I mean that would have been, that would have just topped it off for me right here. Two winged angels on each side of this. So I mean, you know, uh, I didn't sit and watch the whole film, so I can't really go through any of the other scenes. I did catch a couple more minutes of it, and they even had the the two the two bad guys there, um, wannabe crook crooks. Um, they were. They even did the man on wire scene between the two buildings on on a. I think it was the fire uh, ladder that they stole um, to try and get into the. I'm guessing they were trying to get into the bank to get the uh, the golden nugget. But anyway, um, yeah. I mean, I just thought that was completely nuts. There's a little cross here. I th it looks like a little cross sitting here. Um, but the final curtain. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for this one. Um, just an in interesting connections, I thought. Worth a video. Alright, cheers. Bye.